here, Lock, and, and thank you, Minister. And I really welcome this important legislation that delivers on a key programme for government commitment not to extend the current fast track planning arrangements for the SHDs. And I know the new planning process for large scale residential development will replace this uh, SHD, and I really do want to welcome this. Um, this new process will ensure the delivery of housing developments of 100 or more homes, which will, will be in both public and private, and I think that's so important. We all know that we need a sustainable housing system into the future, and the reforms in this bill will restore decision-making powers on large residential developments to local authorities in the first instance, providing greater transparency and clarity and improved public uh, participation in the process and I'm a firm believer in our communities having a large role to play in this because you know it's, it affects everybody all these um, developments and also look it's important I know in my own hometown of Carlow now we've got um, we're so delighted for the South East Technological University and we are going to need supply of houses and, and that will be you know a big issue so I have long called for local authorities to be more included in decision making process and Minister I do want to talk to you about affordable housing and while I welcome this bill and this, uh, I think it's really important, I think it's a really step in the right direction, I think the biggest issue, I feel anyway, both, I have two issues. First of all, lack of supply, but secondly, affordable housing. And I think that is something that, and I know you are committed to it, but I just feel it's so important that we work on this because I have so many people coming into my office that don't qualify to go on the local authority housing list. They can't get a mortgage from a bank or building society. So we need to give them that chance to have an affordable home. So I would again ask you, to address this. But again, you know, supply, as I said, is an issue. But there is a company, Minister Carlo Build, which delivers uh, prefabricated homes at affordable price. And I believe this is real innovation, a uh, position to deliver homes uh, efficiently and affordable to alleviate the I Irish housing crisis. Now, I don't know if there's any other companies doing this. There could be. But this company builds modular houses from steel components and it's produced in house. But their system, has secured NSAI approval. So it has secured all the approvals, it's top quality, and they can build a house in 11 days. Now, I have spoken to the Taoiseach about this. I will, and I welcome you down to Carlo because I know you're coming in December, and I actually to launch our lovely, we have some housing estates um, that I know you're going to open, and I'm delighted, but I would ask you to visit this company. I think it's really important, and I think this could be part of the solution, and I really know that it is something that you are committed to doing. I just want to ask you about, I notice, Minister, that Carlo is not mentioned by the Department of Housing in its recent request for builders for social housing. Um, I note that a letter was sent to local authorities in Dublin, Waterford, Limerick, Galway, Kilkenny, Westmeath, Mead, Wicklow, Kildare, Louth and Leash, asking builders to consider offering homes with planning permission where construction has not yet commenced to local authorities under an advanced purchase turnkey arrangements. And I know, and I want to welcome this minister, but I would ask, as you know, minister, and you know me well enough to know, because I talk to you regularly about Carlo and Kilkenny, of course, but particularly Carlo, where I feel that, you know, we need to be included. And I would ask you that you might look at this and come back to me. Um, and it is important, Minister. I do believe that we, um, and you as a Minister, are making the changes that people are looking for. I know it hasn't been easy. I know there's a, a housing crisis out there. But these are steps, first steps, that we are taking to make that change. And Minister, I know you are doing that. And we need to make more changes. So I really welcome this um, bill, and thank you very much.